We got Buddha tea here today. Okay. So we're gonna try them today. I just picked wild cherry bark, cause hey, cherry sounds good. And chamomile, of course, is your classic tummy soother. So, so we're, we're gonna-, gonna Cherry bark first. We're gonna put this on boiling. Use one tea bag per cup of boiling water. Cover and steep for three to six minutes. Okay, both of these are actually tea zanes, herbal teas. They're not true tea from a Camellia sinensis. So you can boil those, the Camellia sinensis, you wanna use a lighter temperature so you don't get bitter. So I don't know what this is gonna taste like. This is wild cherry bark tea. A member of the rose family, wild cherry bark supports a multitude of physical and energetic ailments. While more esoterically, those suffering a broken heart can go to wild cherry bark tea to help transmute emotional wounds. When brewed, this rose-tinted tea delivers a well-rounded taste with a touch of sweet and a tad tart. So what we're looking here for is sweet tart. Sweet tarts! Okay. So. Ready! Well, it's ready. So we're gonna sniff them. Not much smell there. Which is actually good because mm -hmm. you want most of the flavor to come out after the fact. From looking at Buddha's website, they are interested in the ingredients and they do a lot of single ingredient herbals like this because they actually want you to get the medicinal effects. Organic wild cherry bark. Organic wild cherry bark. So we're gonna mend our wounded hearts here with uh, some sweet we, and tart. We don't have wounded hearts. We're not wounded? No. Everything's fine? Yeah. Oh, that's good news. I think so you can still we, drink uh, it. We won't be testing out that part of the... No, we'll just have it anyway because we want to. This sounds good. They have the Teas for Trees campaign, which creates a sustainable model that restores one of our most precious resources while offsetting the paper used in our products. We've partnered with the National Forest Foundation to support their campaign to plant 50 million trees in our national forest. And they do suggest you consult with a health care provider if you are currently pregnant, nursing, taking medication, or if you have a medical condition. Okay. And I did get on their website, and I will put up a page to show you what is this, what is this child doing. I've decided will have le cherry jello as we have le cherry tea. She likes to make jello out of actual gelatin, collagen. Uh, yeah. I think it's collagen. And then use some cherry flavor. And we'll link that ingredient below. Yes, and she bought some sort of cherry extract. How is it? Go if you want some. Let me sniff it. It's two ingredient. <laughs> that is your traditional cherry flavored thing. You didn't bring anything to eat it with, my dear. What do you mean? You know, a fork? You don't need a fork. She says you don't need a fork for jello. Not for this. You eat it with your hand. Or technically gelatin, since it's not jello brand. You eat it like this. Okay, let's see her eat some gelatin. Have some. In my book, my main character's aunt makes gelatin a lot, so I decided to make some. That is cherry flavored. Not bad, and not at all beefy, despite the fact it's made from beef yeah. bones. All you do is combine gelatin, water, and cherry flavor. Boil it. Add sugar if you want. So the color on this one is not particularly dark. It's just a light yellowy. The bag on this does not have a staple. Oh, and they always have a quote on this one. Today's quote, the day you stop racing is the day you win the race. Love the life you live, live the life you love. Hmm, philosophy. Today we got and this smell has nothing to do with cherry. Hmm, smell that. Oh, no. I don't even know what that smell is. Roots and barks and seeds and such. 
And they actually say on some of them, you know, this one tastes good, this one doesn't taste good, but they have these nice effects, so you want them anyway. So we'll see how this one is. Take out our quote. Hmm. Not sure what to say about this. Tastes like bark. Kind of bitter. Not bad, I can drink it. But you know what to do. Hand me some cream. Did you just put jello in it? Mm hmm Didn't do anything. I just wanted to watch it evaporate. Mm. Well, not evaporate, but melt. Let's put some cream in this cherry bark tea. I think it probably tastes exactly like it's supposed to. And now it's got cream in it. Mmm. It's woody. Watch this. That is not right. Okay, I'm just gonna have to look up what this is for. Mm. Cover and steep. Huh? Have you even heard of wild cherry bark? We bet you have and don't even know it. Most everyone at some time in their life has suffered a serious enough respiratory thing to warrant downing an over-the-counter syrup or lozenge, which can be loaded with sugars and grain alcohol. But here's the deal. When your body is under the weather, the last thing it needs is sugar and alcohol, right? The sweet, syrupy nature of those offerings is nothing like the undressed property of actual wild cherry bark, which feels more mature, more earthy, and more real. Mm. Contains a substance called amygdalin, also found in blackberry leaves, which makes it useful in traditional Chinese medicine to quiet coughs. Well, how about that? We'll save this for when we're coughing. It is said that Native Americans employed wild cherry bark to combat a host of physical issues, including dressing wounds and even tuberculosis. Mm. Okay. What does wild cherry bark taste like? With a shade slightly reminiscent of a French rosé, and typically considered bitter, an element well known to stimulate digestion. That's good news. The taste of Buddha tea's wild cherry bark is so surprisingly delightful, we know you'll return to this delicately helpful herbal tea again and again. And even though wild cherry bark is considered to be bitter, our blend delivers a rounded taste with a touch of sweet and a tad of tart. It's a pleasant flavor. It reminds me of, I don't know, does it make sense to say it tastes like thorns? No. Not that I've eaten wood. <laughs> I imagine if I ate something wooden, it would taste like this. But that's not a bad thing, it's nice. Doesn't taste like wax. Not necessarily recreational, but if I was coughing, I would definitely go for this over cough syrup, which is nasty. It's a good taste, it's not anything cherry at all. It's woody. But if I had a cough, I would so drink this. There would be no problem there. And it stimulates your digestion, which is a great thing, because you want your stomach to work. So let's read you about chamomile while we're waiting. An excellent tea to drink at the end of the day, chamomile has been used for ages as a relaxing drink that is highly enjoyed for its flavor as well as the sense of peace it can provide. Soothes your digestive system. We ought to be feeling real good after these two teas. Provides a calming scent. Smell it dry. Mmm. Mm, oh, that's a uh, lemony citrusy. Nice. Love us some chamomile. Uh, do like chamomile. Have you had chamomile before? Yeah, Kenny bought some of it and I need to use it sometimes. It's good for your tummy tum tum. Let me steep on it. That's a little humor. And one moment, moment can change a day. Chamomile is best known as a relaxant, digestive aid, and all around daily delight. Our high quality chamomile tea delivers a sweet taste and transports you to lush fields on a warm spring day. Delicious. All right. So you can see it hasn't changed much in color since we first stuck it in. It's a light lemony yellowish. Kind of the color of green tea. Mm. Definitely a very chamomile smell. I always thought chamomile smelled like carpet for some reason. Linen. Ooh. 
It has a linen hmm. smell to it. You see that? In a good way, of course. Like a straw mat. There we go. Let's drink some chamomile. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think? I like it. It's delicate, lemonish, flavorful. It has a definite citrusy note. We like it. We like it. Um, Sweet. Very good. Both of these teas are very good. Smooth, yes. So I say Buddha is a winner. Now I'm going to get me some more Buddhas in my collection. Gonna go get they them. have all kinds of good one ingredient teas that I have a feeling that you will find good uses for these teas when you read their website. Because they actually have an entry on each single tea. And they, are, they do have black teas and green teas and, you know, all that good stuff too. So get you some Buddha tea and make time for tea in a good book. Bye.